Okay, at this time, uh, we have Washington on the dais. Uh, for Washington, we have head coach, Coach Tarr, uh, student athlete, Ali Aguilar, uh, student athlete, Morgan Flores, uh, student athlete, Taryn A. A excuse me. Avello. <laughs> I got you. Avello. <laughs> All right, Coach, we'll start with general comments about, about the game, and then we open up for questions. Yeah, kind of a surreal game for us in terms of our pitching and our defense. I'm just really proud of how we were able to stick together from last night. Um, tough loss. It's not the way we wanted to play last night. Um, you know, to get get beat like kind of how we did in front of a tough environment and a tough crowd, it kind of left a bad taste in our mouth. But to wake up today, new day, wait all day to play. Um, Taryn brought her A game today. It was big time. She was She was probably – at her best, um, just in terms of um, men mentality, execution of her pitches, um, getting back to where she needed to be when she needed to be there. Um, and Allie knew her team needed her to hit that home run. Like, she absolutely knew, and she knew she needed to make um, a clear plan when she went up to the plate to be able to execute when it mattered. And um, that was huge, too. And, you know, Morgan's kind of a little unsung hero. She was big for us in regionals, super regionals. Offensively, you guys saw the news and all that stuff, I'm sure. But um, her being able to catch all those games and stay in it and do what do what we need her to do in terms of the battery with Taryn is huge. And um, you know what a great opportunity for this group to be able to get to tomorrow. All right, we're gonna open up for questions. Remember name and affiliation. Uh, questions. Graham. This is for Coach Graham Hayes, ESPNW. You still have softball to play, obviously, but what do you take away from your time with Allie as the the only four-year senior that, that, that you have? Um, she's one of the best players we've ever had, and we've had a lot of good ones. And I think what sets her apart is just who she is as a person, first and foremost. Um, her family and the values that she has and the influence that she has had on our program just in terms of, like, character and value, values. Um, academically, just – you know, just an off the charts student, but um, just in terms of like a softball player, she really understands the game of softball. And there's some kids that maybe think like a coach or maybe want a coach, but they can't necessarily play and execute it on the field. That was me. Um, <laughs> but just, you know, just kind of in, on, in awe of her ability to really execute a game plan and seek information out. And um, this year, I think it was big for her to be able to bring others along and <laughs> Um, she's taken advantage of that opportunity for her team, and she's found a way to lead her team in, in just way more ways than just offensive execution or defensive influence. Uh, Derek Peterson's – nobody? Okay, sorry. Derek she, Peterson's <laughs> Seattle Times. Um, Taryn, you've been really good this tournament. Tonight you're on another level. Did something change, or what was your mindset going into tonight? Um, like Coach Tar said last night, kind of left a bad taste in our mouth. And um, – I wasn't happy with my performance. I felt like I let my team down last night. So I did everything in my power to make sure that that didn't happen and I had their backs just like they have mine all the time. Mayor Angus, Fast Pitch News. Um, Coach, when you played UCLA in the regular season, a lot of scoring was happening. Um, what was the biggest difference? Do you think it was Taryn and her pitches? Yes. Um, you know, we go back and review the film, of course, once we knew who we were going to play today and you almost can't even look at the film because you you have to see it with a discount because I mean sorry T but like <laughs> she knows this like she was all over the place like mechanically mentally you know we we ended up you know coming close and losing nine to eight in game two and then we ended up w winning game three 12 to seven I mean that's not us that's not our game and if we were going to be able to get to this point that's not how we were going to be able to play the game and um, a lot of growth has happened within our team, um, specifically with Taryn, just understanding that she is the rock on the team. The team has really made that clear, and she's embraced that opportunity and that pressure, and um, it's been really cool to see that growth. Uh, Heather, yesterday you said you guys needed to be tougher. Um, do you feel like you accomplished that today? <laughs> kind of a dumb question to ask. but Yeah, I think, I think just in terms of – just the mentality of being here and owning it and taking possession of the opportunity. Um, we didn't do that yesterday. And a tough team takes possession of, of every single opportunity, every single pitch, and doesn't take a pitch off. And they did that today for the most part. I think offensively, the game, um, m you know, we had a lot of opportunities. We had six leadoff 
ons offensively that we didn't execute for. I mean, Ale it took a solo home run to get the one run. Um, we didn't execute like we could have offensively. But keeping in perspective, um, tip our cap to uh, Rachel Garcia. Um, what a great season that UCLA had. A lot of growth, too, for them. And um, just really proud of our team for being able to come back from last night and win a tough one today, one nothing. Yeah. Morgan, you kind of have a different perspective than all of us when you actually catch Taryn. Um, what were you seeing tonight and maybe this whole tournament? It seems like she's been on another level. Yeah. Um, I just think that Taryn is just 100% tough, and she has grit and 100% confidence, and that carries on to every single one of us. You know, she leads the team very well, and, yeah, like just 100% confidence every single game, I think, in this tournament. Sorry, Taryn, I got another one for you. In, in that fourth inning, you started with five balls and walked the lead off, and then Coach Roberts came out and talked to you. What did he say? What did you guys talk about? Basically, he just said, we need this one. You know, kind of, you know, like we say, one pitch at a time. But really, I have to emphasize that a little bit more because if I focus on the fact that I just threw five pitches, the next one's going to be a ball just like as well. So he just kind of came out here. He let me um, take a deep breath. And he's like, we need this. Bear down and do it. So. That's what I had to do. Are there any other questions? There you go, Ryan. That's for Allie. What, what was your plan for that last at bat? Were you processing information from what you'd seen those first two trips to the plate? Yeah, I think every at bat you kind of gain more information. Obviously, we faced her a lot of times, but I was just trying to uh, stick to a plan, stick to an approach. I knew Taryn had been throwing lights out, and she'd been going all game. And so I went up to her like before I I was like, I got your back. And I was really just trying to get a base hit, get on base for her. And um, it ended up going out, so it worked well. <laughs> Man. Taryn, all right, you guys face Florida tomorrow. I know it's one game at a time, but if called upon, can you throw two? Um, I mean, take one pitch at a time. and. You know, we're going to have to do at this point what we have to do. Everybody's has to be all in. So I believe in every single person on this team to make tomorrow happen. Um, I think, yeah, I could. But I also know that, that our, the other pitchers on our pitching staff is just as capable to really, you know, take care of business tomorrow. All right. No, any more questions? If not, coaches, ladies, congratulations. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Do you need a softball bat? Do you want to save $30? Softballjunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount off the price of all non-sale softball bats on their website. That's right, $30. So the next time you buy a bat, go to softballjunk.com and enter the code FPTV30 during checkout. And wham, you just put a cool $30 in your pocket. This show is a member of the Fast Pitch TV Network. See all of our shows and blogs at www.fastpitch.tv.